Hi guys, as you can see, Teffy, Ryan, and I are here to do a quick video. Um, I finally got Ryan changed. She is in a three months Carter's onesie or romp, bubble romper. Um, she has a just when you headband on, and she has a zero plus parent choice pacifier, and I believe it was Julie's Reborns. Um, did a video on those ones. Those pacifiers are perfect for um, silicones because the nipple is shorter and you don't have to modify them. Then a typical like zero to six months, zero whatever um, nipple for pacifiers. So those work actually perfect for her. So I have purchased all the colors so that I think I can find. There's one that I didn't get because it came a two pack and one of them I already had the color so as of right now I chose not to get it I might get it eventually but um, I will get right in excuse me get right into this video um, I thought about doing this and I am going to start a tag a getting to know you tag um, I know that older YouTube channels have probably done things answered questions similar to this in other videos um, but there's a bunch of newcomers that haven't answered questions like this that I have seen. Even some of the older videos, I guess, I don't always necessarily look back to try to find, like, specific videos. So, um, I just thought, you know what, I will just make a new tag and... Um, I'm going to put the questions in the description because I absolutely love when people do tag videos and it's more than one question and they put them in the description. Love, love, love that. That is one of my favorite things because it's so much easier to just print off that list and answer the questions instead of like quickly trying to jot down the questions. So anyways, I will start off number one. Were you named at, oh, before I start. There's 30 questions total. Number one, were you named after someone? If so, who? Yes, I was. Um, I'm not going to say what my full name is, but my first and middle name are actually the feminine versions of my dad's two grandfathers. So my paternal, paternal great-grandfathers. I'm named after them, both of them. Um... It wasn't actually what my name was supposed to be, um, but when I was born, my mom had a lot of complications, and they took me out of the room, and the nurse kept asking my dad what my name was, and my dad said my name, the doc, the nurse even asked how he wanted to spell it, and he's like, I don't know, spell it however normal is, um, so... He's the one that said the name, but it was my name is spelt the way the nurse spelt it. Because apparently, I don't know how things were done back then. Um, I know with both of my kids, we had to fill out the birth certificate stuff before I went in, but both were C-sections, so that may be a little bit different. Um, and I don't know why it was such a rush that I had to have my name right away. But anyways, my name was supposed to either be... Um, Christina Nicole or Nicole Elizabeth I think is what they were. supposed to be one of those two and um, the only name of those that stuck was Nicole um, number two do you have any siblings no I do not I'm an only child and I've hated that my whole life um, that's why my two kids are 17 months apart. Uh, number three, what is your favorite book? My favorite book is To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I have, I think it's the set of a Watchmen. I cannot remember the, n the newest Harper Lee book that she wrote. That is the sequel to To Kill a Mockingbird. She wrote it and it was published before she passed away. Um, I have it, I just haven't read it, but I'm not a huge reader, but I've read to, Mo to Kill a Mockingbird like four or five times. I just absolutely love that name, or I love that book. 
Um, I really wanted to name my son Atticus after the father, but my husband refused. That was, yeah, one of the raging. That was on my short list of boy names. Number t four, what is your favorite color? Um, my favorite, I should say, colors are blue and purple. Um, I also like green and yellows, but um, blue and purple are my favorite. Number five, what are your favorite musical group slash band? Green Day. Straight out Green Day. I have loved Green Day since sixth grade. The first time that I heard um, Basket Case and When I Come Around was actually, um, I went to a small private school in sixth grade. Um, and every year we went to this track meet and everybody that was in fifth grade and up was required by in gym class to participate in this track meet and it was out of town. And I rode with um, my best friend, at, one of my best friends I should say. Um, his name was Ryan. <laughs> Go figure, I named my doll Ryan. Um, he was my one of my best friends in sixth grade. Um, I rode with him and his dad and a, a couple of other my friends. And um, he had taken his older brother's Green Day tape, cassette tape, like this, this was like old school stuff. And he, um, he played the Green Day, it was um, the Dookie album. And my mom was literally having a garage sale that weekend. And the money that I raised for my stuff from the garage sale, I bought that Green Day Dookie CD as well as a CD player with my money. And I still have that CD to this day. What is my What is your favorite song? My current favorite song is Green Day's Still Breathing. Um, when I first heard that song, I fell in love with it. Like... I was ecstatic when it became a single, but I fell in love with that song. I absolutely, it just, it had a lot behind it in my mind as well as, you know, with situations of stuff that's going on right now, it actually is um, fitting and I've been listening, listening to it a lot. Um, in my van, I have a hard drive and I actually have their newest CD, Revolution Radio. I actually have a bunch of their CDs saved on the hard drive. And so I listen to it quite a bit. As well as I have Satellite Radio and that uh, I have Green Day listed as a favorite. So anytime a Green Day comes on, it pops up and let me know what song is on. And if it's, if it's um, still breathing, I automatically switch. Some of the other ones, depending upon what I'm currently listening to, I'll switch or stay. Um, what did you want to do? be or do when you grew up. I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher. In fact, in fourth grade, we had to write an autobiography as our final for, I can't remember, I think it included, it was for like English, I can't remember what else, it was like a bunch of different subjects. It was one of our things. I know typically in fourth grade you don't do finals, but this is kind of our final grade. Um, was to write this biography about herself and in that I put I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher um, going into high school I still wanted to be like kindergarten early ed um, before I became a stay-at-home mom I was actually a preschool teacher um, and as my kids get older I'm thinking of going back to school but I want to go into like graphic design and I know there's not a huge market for graphic design but I absolutely love it I love digital art so, and I mean, while I like working with kids, I don't think I can much anymore because of my health. Um, I have like little to no immune system. So when my kids get sick, I'm automatically getting sick right away. In fact, both of my kids had, we figured out what caused my pneumonia at the beginning of the year was my kids being sick. My kids were sick just before at the beginning of Christmas break, even though I didn't get strep that my son had, both of them had bad colds. But when I was working in preschool, I was sick a lot. And since I stopped, I, I get sick from my kids, but that's about it now. Um, number seven, well, that was number seven. Number eight, 
What is your favorite food? Honestly, lately my favorite food is cucumbers with um, French dressing. Crystal will probably attest to that. She'll sometimes tease me when her and I are talking because I have to go cut up some cucumbers and get my dressing. I do not like ranch dressing. Never really been a big ranch fan. I don't even like really, I'll eat ranch with like cute vegetables. But if I have a French there, I do that instead. Um, number nine. Do you have any animals? If so, what kind? Obviously, Teffy. You can see I have one right here. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. I actually have two cats currently and a betta fish. We also, um, in the past had two other cats. We have Teffy and Jack now. Um, we used to have Tofi and Hendrix. Hendrix we actually had to take back to the shelter because he kept attacking Jack and Teffy. Tofi we had to put down because she had cancer. And I guess Teffy's moving on out now. I'm just going to go lay down in her bed. At least I hope so because there's a paper bag over there that she likes to lay in. Um, number 10. What is your favorite type of art besides Reborns? Um, I like theater arts. Um, in high school, I was a theater geek. I will straight out admit it. Um, I didn't so much. Taffy! Sorry for the crinkling. She's like I said, there is a paper bag over there that the cat just loves. And she's apparently curling up in it. Um, I wasn't, I, I did some acting, but I was actually a techie. And a sound tech at that. Um, in high school, aside from wanting to be a teacher... My other dream was to go to Seattle, to the Art Institute in Seattle, and um, go into, uh, I can't even think of it right now, music producing. I wanted to be a music producer too, like, I just, I wanted to get into a studio, like, work on recording bands, mixing albums, and all that kind of stuff. I absolutely loved working on the soundboards. Or like doing like a live theater, working as a sound technician, or like going on tour with a band as a sound technician. Um, but then I kind of chickened out last minute. Um, what was your favorite subject in high school? Aside from um, like the consumer arts that are not consumer arts. Um, what was it called? Family sciences that did have the, like the child care classes that had the baby think it overs and drama. Those were two of them. I also really liked science. Um, I absolutely loved chemistry. And I believe that I had 100% in that class when I ended or after the end of the year. Um, number 12. Do you sing? I can sing. Um, I don't do it a lot. Um, when I was younger, I was in choir, and I did sing a little bit after, but the problem is I had my, I used to sing really high. I could hit those high soprano notes, um, and after I had my tonsils out, I could not do them anymore. So, while I sing sometimes, like, sing to my favorite song, yes, but... And if I don't like karaoke being silly, I might sing, but my kids can get me to sing. That's about it. Do you, number 12, or number 13, do you like to dance? Not really. I've never been into dancing. I went to my junior prom. I did not go to my senior prom because I hate dancing. Number 14, do you, can you play a musical instrument? Yes, I can play a guitar. Number 15, do you, what do you like about yourself? Um, what I like about myself is I am very giving. Um, if you haven't noticed, I do do a lot of giveaways on my channel. Um, I know some people think that people just do, with smaller channels, just do giveaways to get like followers. Honestly, I don't even check to see if the person that is entering the giveaway and has one follows me. 
I or subscribes to my channel, I don't care. I just like giving. Although now I'm kind of going on the you have to I, I would prefer you to have content on your channel and that's just to prove you're an adult. Um number sixteen, what could you change about yourself? Um there is a lot of things I would like to change about myself. Um I don't know if I could just pick one and I really don't want to list all of them. One of them, okay, one of them I can think of is like my skin. I wish I could change my skin from being so dry and itchy and flaky all the time. That's just the only reason why that's coming up is because I'm like almost scratching myself raw lately. And that's using lotion daily. It's worse if I don't. Um, number 17, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is losing a loved one. Um, I lost my grandfather over 10 years ago. Um, I was actually in the room with my husband's family when his grandfather passed. And my grandmother has Alzheimer's. So, well, and being down here, obviously, I can't go see her, but for her, I, when she does pass, I'll be sad, but I'll be happy in a way, just because, like, she'll be pain-free, she'll be free, her, her memory will come back to her. But where I'm saying my biggest fear of losing a loved one is, like, losing one of my kids, losing my husband, losing one of my parents, um, losing, like, one of my husband's parents, kind of more of the immediate family. Um, number 18, do you have any weird phobias? Yes, I am deathly afraid of snakes. Snakes are my biggest phobia. I don't know what the actual medical phobia term is for that, but I, like, pictures of snakes even bother me. Like, on Facebook, people posting, like, pictures of snakes, drawings of snakes, even if it's not real. I, I do not like snakes, period. And, of course, my husband moves me down to where there is plenty of poisonous snakes. Not just snakes, but poisonous snakes. I like living in my bubble up north that if you found a snake, nine times out of ten, you're the snake you were finding is a little simple garden snake. If you go down to southwestern North Dakota, you might see a rattlesnake in the Badlands area, but even at that, they weren't very common. Um, number 19, who is your favorite actor or actress? Um, I would probably say Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is one of them. Um, he's probably the one that sticks out the most because I absolutely love the Pirate of the Caribbean franchise. Um, trying to think of anybody off the top of my head that I particularly like. If they come out with movies, I have to go see. Um, Kevin Smith movies, I love those, but there haven't been out any in a while. Um, I guess I could say Kevin Smith because he actually acts in them too. Um, number 20, if you could go travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, I would like to either go to England or Australia. Love the accents. I already went into that video or into my, um, love bug video tag um, I just I, I love the accents um, I've always wanted to go to both of those countries since I was young on um, number 21 what is your favorite TV show um, I have more than one um, I'm reality TV is a guilty pleasure um, but if it came down to it um, I like Jane the Virgin, Grey's Anatomy, Big Bang Theory. Um, I absolutely love Switched at Birth until it went off, or 
until recently. Um, they had the series finale, although the way it ended was very stupid. Crystal and I have had many discussions about this. We're both hoping Netflix picks them up. Um, I know that Netflix already has the past seasons on there, but I really hope Netflix actually will pick the series up from where it's at, because the way it ended, the show could go on. There's more questions to it. Um, I also like the Fosters. What is your favorite, number 22, what is your favorite movie? Empire Records. And it has been that way since 1996, I believe. 96 or 97. I have loved that movie for close, or over 20 years, yeah. My favorite, absolute favorite movie is Empire Records. Um, number 23, what is your favorite season? I like fall, just because I, I like where it's the right temperature weather for me um as well as i mean like spring is usually nice temperatures but because of the pollen and allergens in the spring fall usually doesn't have them as bad on number 24 what do you like to do on friday nights sit home and watch tv I'm not a big social person to go out to bars or go out drinking. Um, it's just, in the past, like, going over to my friend's house on Friday nights, like, where we could take the kids would be one thing. I just haven't found anybody here like that. Number 25, do you have children? Yes. I have two. Um... For privacy reasons, I don't say they're real first names because they're not common. Um, a few people know their first names, their actual first names. Um, on the vlogs, you typically hear them going by their nicknames, which they do 90% of the time go by their nicknames anyways. But especially on something like this, I'm not going to say what their actual birth name is because like I said neither of them have common names in fact my son's name I've googled it once and only him and like two other kids popped up um number 26 are you married yes I have been married for I have to think about this 13 years will be this year. Um, number 27, what is your favorite car? Uh, my favorite car would probably be the New Style Challengers. Uh, my dad has one. I've loved that car since it came out. Um, I also kind of, I'm not a huge fan of four-door vehicles, but having two kids, you kind of have to be. But I kind of like the Chargers, too. My, we've talked about getting a Charger just because... My husband driving to work, you know, his truck, you know, trucks just guzzle gas and we thought a car would be better on gas mileage for him driving. Um, so we've considered possibly looking at getting a charger. I don't know if and when we'd get him. I know we'd probably get a used one. I personally do not see the value of buying brand new vehicles. Um, basically once you drive them off the lot, you lose, you're already... The point of signing the paperwork and driving the vehicle off the lot, you've almost lost $5,000 on the value of it. So, yeah. I don't want to take that $5,000 hit in minutes. Um, number 28. Can you speak... Can you speak more than one language? Yes. Um, I can speak a little bit of German. If I had to go to Germany and speak German, I have enough to get by reading it's a whole nother thing but then again i'm dyslexic so reading in english is hard enough let alone learning how to read in a second language um number 29 what musical acts have you seen live um, i've seen lots of bands live um i have seen everclear live ooh, four or five times um i have seen the band Bush live 
twice. I've seen Nickelback. I have seen Seether twice. I've seen No Doubt Goo Goo Dolls, Hootie and the Blowfish. Um, they might be giants. Um, what else? Green Day. And I can't think of the band's name. They sing Porn Star Dancing. Like, I'm seriously drawing a blank on who it is. I honestly cannot think of that name. We I've seen them live. Um, trying to think of everybody. My brain's just like going down to sleep mode right now. Those are the ones I can think of top of my head. Uh, I've seen Green Day once. I will be seeing them all again this um, in September just before my birthday. So that's actually my birthday present from my husband. And number 30, if money were no object, what is one thing you would buy? An airplane. Um, get my pilot's license and buy an airplane. It's honestly, money were no object. I know some people would say like a big house, silicone doll. No. Um, and I think it all comes down to, you know, my parents being where they're at and us being down here. It is so much nicer. You just be like, okay, you guys want to come down for the weekend, Friday, I will fly up, pick you up, and I will bring you home Monday. And just be like a personal little jet. So, those are the 30 getting to know you questions. I know this video got to be 30 minutes long. Um, so, I will put the questions in the comments and I hope you enjoyed my answers. I will talk to you all later. Bye.